All right. So we're going in the back now. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Behind the scenes CD. Jillian, one of our one people talk to online. Oh. Super sharp lady. How do you do? Um, shipping. Shipping. And much to look at, but this is the heartbeat of the operation, basically. Everything passes through this room through these hands. Um, yeah, we're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that's the one thing that, that people really don't understand about the military. It's not the guy on the front that really makes the difference. When you talk to people who really understand the military, it's logistics. Mm -hmm. Right now, you're seeing it in the news. Russia can't supply their troops. Right, right. Ukraine has a very short supply line, so they're able to get stuff to their front and, and counteract the Russians very quickly. Mm -hmm. Whereas the Russians have a long supply line, long lead time. Right. And so you can see it now right there. Mm -hmm. Without this, you can make as many as you want. Right. And you can have as many customers as you well, want. Like but if it doesn't get go. through this choke point... Yep. Yep. You're not going to get it so you see, get going. You guys, are, you guys are essential. Yeah, We're yeah. Essential. We're essential workers. You are. And and basically, we make this. these are the guys I trust the most because they've got, and have to trust the most because they put eyes on every single order. Yep. You know, it, they, they, everything has to be quality checked and, and, and you know, uh, detail checked before it goes out. Yep. You know, just to make sure that people doesn't, people don't wind up with the wrong thing, you know, or there isn't you know, some small problem. And that's how everybody gets their candy. You know? Yes, yes. The single most popular. This is Angus. Angus. He's the keeper of the candy. Keeper of the candy. Anybody, anybody who orders from us, you know, send, him, send him a little candy as a, as a small candy. Okay, so um, I'm going to have to bring in something for you. Huh? I brought some Tootsie Rolls. Nice. So Tootsie Rolls are actually... Uh, what helped save the Marine Corps in the Battle of Chosin Reservoir. What? Yes. So Korea? The Korean okay. War. Okay. The uh, first Marines were surrounded by the Chinese divisions uh -huh. and they had to fight their way out. Uh -huh. um, when you ask for supplies and you're radioing it back or you're sending a message back, whatever way you send it, you can't say, I need a tank. Because if, okay. the, if the radio message is intercepted and right. they hear that, right. the enemy goes, oh, they have no tanks. We can attack. Gotcha. gotcha. Or if it's a written message, they, could be they, can, they, can, they can intercept it and they can read so, it and so they go. So you had a code. So the code. The very American item. Right. So one of the codes that we, had, that we used to radio back was Tootsie Roll. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tootsie Rolls were 60 millimeter mortar rounds. Oh, okay. 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 Got it. So it gets back to the rear and the gentleman who's reading the list of items that are needed uh -huh. doesn't have the correct translations. Mm -hmm. So when he reads Tootsie Rolls, he has no corresponding item. Mm -hmm. So he sends Tootsie Rolls. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay. So, okay. you know, they're great for quick energy you can keep them in your yeah. pocket if you don't yeah. if you can't get into to actually cook meals or, or, or a place where you can actually eat meals stop it down and, and open yeah. up something to eat yeah. you got to touch the roll in your pocket yeah it's like the original energy bar or, or, or uh like the things runners use you know like yep. the fast energy thing yep. yeah okay and so the other thing that was amazing is it's 40 below i mean it's super cold and the fuel lines were breaking uh -huh. So one of the mechanics has a Tootsie Roll in his pocket. He pulls it out. It's nice and warm and soft, and he puts yeah. it in his mouth, and he's like, wait a minute. And he wraps it around the fuel line, and it freezes and hardens and stops the leak. So now the vehicle can run. So Tootsie Rolls are the original plumber's putty. Right. <laughs> so it saved our vehicles, and it gave the guys energy. Oh, it's wild. And it was one of the things that we were able to get out of the battle with. And if you go to the Marine Museum in Quantico and you go to the Korean War Memorial section – You'll see a Marine standing there in his cold weather gear, and by his foot is a Tootsie Roll. A tootsie Roll. Wow. Wow. That's cool. Thank you for that story. Yep. That's awesome. I mean, I wouldn't have wanted to be there. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I respect those guys. Going I, I, that, I but. went to Korea for training three times, and uh, the first time I was there, I remember the TV show MASH and how they depicted yeah. how cold it was. Yeah. I wrote a letter home, and I'm like, it doesn't even come close. Mm -hmm. I'm from upstate New York. I thought I knew cold, and I'm there, and I'm like, oh, my God, this is so cold. Yeah. Damn. Tootsie rolls. Okay, now i got to remember that. <laughs> yep. Okay, let's yes, sneak on. around the corner here. <laughs> Get some orders ready to go out. Yep. All those beautiful tartans. Gorgeous. No leather necks, but, you know, hey, 
We'll get you some business. Yeah, we'll <laughs> Here's the, yeah the I know. It's, it's that time of year where we're doing our uh, our birthday ball. So. There's a mask we did as a charity effort during COVID. Very we nice. still give them out and sell them occasionally. But uh, basically, that was our attempt to try and uh, yep. help folks out during the, during yep. the first years of the... And then the boxes are, are the orders they come from in the back, they get put here and they take them and yeah, go these out? Yeah, basically this is where we store orders that uh, are waiting for pieces parts. Like say the kilt is ready, but a, uh, a specialty item from Scotland has not arrived yet. Right. So this is basically like a holding holding area until the order. The a holding order bin. Yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. Exactly. And this is the outgoing or incoming? Outgoing. Outgoing, that's all outgoing? Yep. Wow, outgoing. look at all that. Oh, that's the ingoing pile? This is the outgoing postal. That's outgoing. This is outgoing UPS. Oh, okay. Okay. Got it. And warehousing. Basically, that's Lance. Hello. How's it going, Lance? Oh, I, I, I love this leather work you have on your hip. What do you, what, you got? Uh, what do you got? What, do you, what is your everyday carry right there? Oh, that's my notepad, a couple of knives, my pens. That was a present from my one of my coworkers. It's very nice. Yep. <laughs> Form follows function. My yep. holster, so to speak. Yep. Well, we call it uh, an everyday carry. There you go. Yeah. EDC bag. Oh, it does get a lot of use. So basically, we have people come over from shops in Scotland and visit in Scotland and say, why do you keep all this inventory? And it's like, well, it's, again, it's for rapid turnaround. Yeah. It's to make sure that we can fulfill orders as quickly as possible. Yeah, there's a lot of companies yeah. that are just, just have a minimal stock mm -hmm. and rely on drop shipping and, and, and right. that. And then, right. you know... You get three or four packages spread out. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I came back from the Celtic Fest and I was like, I had a package. You're like, what, what was this? What, who did I order from? <laughs> like, <laughs> open it up. I'm like, oh, that was that. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's just, um, this makes us more secure. Yep. It makes it more, more stable in terms of uh, getting you, orders out to people in a timely way. As you don't have to worry if a ship is stuck in the Suez Canal. Exactly. Exactly. So that's basically, it's ugly, but again, crucial. Yeah, yep. it's a gutsy operation. So I'll take you upstairs now. You can see where 